Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and this is the Carvel Space Program. So, uh, what I discovered here was that we actually don't have a lot of fun, so we need 22,000 to use our drive-by moon rocket. So, we need to complete the contract here and I'm choosing this one because this is an easy one. It will give us 47k money. And we only need to reach in a trajectory this one we need to orbit and making our orbit under 8000 is not enough so uh, let's see uh, uh, as you have contract and we'll meet each other in the vehicle as the will do Well, this will be a short episode. I decided why should I show you to build a very basic rocket here. As you can see, our number uh, of funds went up. It was because you get a small number of funds when you accept contract. So I have a little bit here, so I will use a small bar, uh, part of that to make this rocket here. And I'm thinking this should be enough to test this part. Uh, our objective is haul TRI-2V stack the coupler into suborbital trajectory over curving. Have, have, and that is our only requirement. That is the kind of like the easiest requirements you can have. Uh, so I placed it here. Uh, let's see. So you see the part is a small part, a small decoupler. It's, the coupler is these things that separate things. So I press it there. So it's the last station. So it's very, very, very important. Uh, very, very important that I don't use it because otherwise we get rid of our parachutes. <laughs> so, yeah. so that is rocket. So we have a very simple design. Here, oh yeah, I need to fix this. Uh, the thrust rate to weight ratio on the boosters with a, a so small load is really high, 2.6, as on, uh, almost twice as much as we usually use for launching ourselves the uh, launch pad. So yeah, that's a lot. And then we have a small rocket that will take the small. Uh, so yeah, let's go. So today I decided to use Yabadaya because we use Valentina so much, and as you can see. I've been very cheap. I even haven't put nose cones on the boosters, so they, they <laughs> it's not a very aerodynamic dynamic, uh, rocket here. But we, we only needed it for a very, very simple. So, yeah, I'm just putting up everything double checking. Okay, guys, so let's go. So, and this is a good thrust ratio, I think, if you go too fast. It's kind of insane, I don't really know the, the perfect ratio, but if you go too slow, you're fighting gravity, and if you go too fast in the fat part of the atmosphere, you get dragged. So, yeah, it's kind of... But it, it looks like we, we are gaining speed, and our... I think I want to tilt our rocket a bit. I have to be very, very careful with this rocket design. And by the way, look how beautiful the game is at night time. I wish I could uh, do all my launches here. I'm going a small curve here so we don't get the problem. Uh, the problem that uh, we will go too fast when we go down. So we at least have a small curve to this. Well, it looks like the boosters have to make a job and a little bit more because we are out of the thick part of the atmosphere. So yeah. So now we on, the only task we need to uh, do now is to reach. Uh, let's see what was the requirement. 100,000 meters. So when we use that one, uh, as, as when we are over 100,000, I will cut our engines. Uh, here and then, then we can use some of this fuel to break break our descent. So yeah, I'm organized today. Uh, I did what I should do in strategy games and simulation games. You have to do a checklist for yourself. Otherwise, you you, you kind of try to spend time using wasting uh, time trying to think what you should do and not to instead of playing a game and commenting in game. And this. It's quite complicated because game also, so it makes it extra hard. So, 
let's make that number there. So hopefully that's enough for uh, meeting meeting our requirements. So so what we can do now, as we upgrade the tracking station, you remember, we can actually stop wasting time and go up here. So, we don't have to wait uh, too long and the game will speed up everything as usual, so... Is this enough to... Yes! So, that's awesome! So let's go retrograde... Oh, we haven't re reached the highest point, so that's why we are, our rocket is pointing. The retrograde is the uh, opposite the way you are traveling, so you're seeing it's pointing at the wrong direction. So let's make that prograde for now. And I think... And I really uh, like these abilities because... Then I don't have to think about going too far or anything. So now we are at the other point. So do you see how much time I've saved by that? Why can't we get that from the beginning of the game? I don't really understand. So yeah. So now, now all we have to do is to land this. And this should be fairly easy as long as I don't press... Uh, you press space to activate the next, next stage. But if I do it twice, <laughs> we get rid of the... Okay, let's make sure there is nothing wrong to be... Is... Please... Space too much. I always had save game n in names as li like that, because it's easier to remember if you want to go back, so that's why I ask to do these silly things. Uh, but... Uh, as nothing exciting is happening, we are not even in the atmosphere. I don't see a reason for speeding this part up, so... So, we will go double speed. Uh, we don't have a lot of speed. We don't need, as we have so much rocket fuel left, we will use this to get our speed up. slow. Okay, cool. We are going very slow, that's awesome. Now I'm very concentrated because this is a highly critical part, so... Oh, what are you doing, man? I think the camera has been uh, and confused me a bit here. So yeah. We could probably more or less activate the uh, uh, parachutes now because our speed is so slow. I think you have... Suicide burn distance, yeah. We are 18,000, as you can see, we are a bit over... Over at the sea level, so that's why it doesn't fit with other... Okay, cool, so let's get rid of that part. The deploy? Oh, I wanted to deploy it. Oh no. This is a bug that happened. Okay, that's right. What happened now? Sure, it's too dark. I think our, uh, it looks like our parachutes, uh, just ripped off, uh, so yeah, okay, I will give you guys the crash at least, even that we can't see a lot. Yeah, 
it was not that dramatic. We landed on the sea here. Uh, yes, we are on our way back again. After I screwed up. <laughs> so, but it was a good thing that I saved before it. And you kind of need to use saves in this game. It would be uh, some hardcore level mode. It should be... So I'm saving some of our uh, to yeah we not we are soon are in the okay so we are going down slowly here. We're gaining speed very very fast. But I, I still I still have some fuel left. So we soon are at the thick part of the atmosphere, so let's slow down a bit. And this time I will not deploy uh, deploy uh, the parachute too soon. Oh But I need to deploy it. I almost forgot to deploy it. Oh man, that clear is way too much. Oh yeah, we're go going double speed. We are going double speed, that was why, why it went on so fast. Yeah, and it's complete, we are on the dark side of the planet, so it's completely dark. I think I should, when I have more money, I will probably put on some spotlights, so you, we can see more what's happening while it's happening, so yeah. But it, it, this was a safely good uh, good landing, at least. Okay, so that was our landing. It's really, really dark here. Uh, really, really dark. Uh, let's see, Yablaya will go out a bit and check. Yeah. So this is how it feels like to be on the ocean, but we don't see any, we don't see any stars or anything, so... Let's board again. And we'll recover our vessel. Well, at least we gathered some, uh, some, some science there, but it wasn't enough. So we get to back some, some funds. And this is awesome, because we have 53,000. And uh, let's see, a look at our drive-by. <coughs> Moon, moon rockets. <laughs> uh, so where do we have you? Yes. And as you can see, it co cost 22,000. So the next episode, we're finally going to the moon. Or, and the episode after that, we'll probably land on the moon. But we're gonna go fly by the moon. So now we have money enough to do that. So this was this little short episode. And I think... Yeah, I really uh, will do some contracts on sh short episodes, so uh, instead of uh, so we have big missions on their own episodes and small ones, so you can skip. Also, that's why I'm building the big rockets on their own episode. So if you don't, so you can look what you find the most interesting part of this game. You can choose and choose uh, whichever part uh, you like more, or you can watch them all if you want to. So that was everything and as always, thank you for watching.